Presenting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, the challenger, wearing black with red and white trim on the scale. He registered an official 146 and three quarter pounds. And tonight, he enters the ring for the 34th time as a professional with 29 victories against only three losses, one bout even, 17 of those victories coming by way of KO. Representing his Armenian heritage, hailing from Piatigorsk, Russia, and now fighting out of Newark, England, here to spoil the party, David Avanesia. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing corn husker red and white. He weighed in at an official 146 and one half pounds. Started from the bottom tonight. He enters the BLK prime ring, universally recognized as the pound for pound king with an undefeated professional record of 38 victories. 29 of those victories coming by way of KO. The former lightweight world champion, former undisputed super lightweight world champion, and tonight defending his WBO welterweight championship of the world. Born, bred, and ripping Omaha, Nebraska. Controlling jab like that, keeping Abanician at bay. It's going to be oh, a big right hand, right on the button from Abanician. Like I was saying, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's what it was there. You know, the reason Abanician was able to land that right hand over the top was because Crawford at times lays it out there a little too much. Sometimes, you know, he's got a great snappy jab when he uses it right there. He laid it out just a little bit too lazily. Abanician was able to come over the top. And this is what Avanessian does. He doesn't give you room to breathe. 
right on top of you for yeah. 12 rounds. Yeah, exactly, Todd. He's, he's really he's just he's a no frills guy. He just and and and, and the lesser uh, prospects that he beat, the guys who basically he exposed that maybe weren't as good as they were supposed to be, he beats them because of things like this, where they have no staying power in the ring once he stays in their face. But a guy like Crawford is going to show a lot of different wrinkles and angles now. Was he the see, stance? But you see Crawford now switch back to well to Southpaw now. He came out surprised everyone conventional, but now he's back in uh, his most comfortable stance, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Again, Avenesi, not really, nothing really too fancy, but by staying in your face, a lesser fighter starts to panic and creates mistakes. It's just that right now, it's Bud Crawford in front of him. Bud Crawford will sit there being just as patient as Avenesi in the world, and he'll open him off. So it's going to be up to Avenesi to not just bring this kind of pressure, but also think, be, give me some thinking behind it. And you got to be in good shape to fight someone like Avenesi as well. Yeah. Waits, not showing any fear from Crawford at all. So a good start. We gotta understand that this guy is tricky and slick, yep. and he's desperate. He's gonna do everything to try to win this and fight. And shortly after that, Jim, he uh, Crawford went back to the southpaw stance, you know, which is his usual stance. Exactly. <laughs> and Abenissian didn't wait to meet Crawford in the middle of the ring after the bell rang. He went over to his corner, started fighting. Again, it's that mental pressure. It's nothing fancy about it, but staying in somebody's face consistently will sometimes cause them to panic and break. But Terrence Crawford is an elite, elite level fighter who's seen basically everything over his 38 pro career fights. I love the way he's controlling this fight with the jab so far. Ebenezer hasn't found a way to get through that jab. Now Crawford's gonna have to start putting that left hand behind that if he wanna detour Ebenezer because this guy feels like he's, he can get some shots in right now. And a very patient approach by Crawford, but you see he's, he's not allowing Avanesian to really do do much. You know, he's, he's being patient. Yes, Avanesian keeps pushing the pressure on him, but Crawford with that lead hand just creates just, does just enough space to win when he wants to let go of the backhand, he's able to snap it off good. But Avanesian will keep be like a buzzsaw in front of him, though. Crawford slid, though. And because he fights out of both stances, Crawford can exit out of both angles. You know what I mean? He can get out on the right side, and switch stance, get out on the left side. It makes it really tough to cut off the ring on him. Right now, uh, Crawford. Go southpaw. You know, back to right-handed. When you've got a fighter who's 35 years old and hasn't fought in over a year, you always wonder, hey, has Father Time caught up with him a little bit? No, I think he got Father Time in the chokehold right now. <laughs> For real. No, but what you see is the patience, the poise, you know, the professionalism when you're looking at Crawford. He's not overreacting. He's not being, uh, you know, bothered by anything that Evanition is doing. I mean, this is a consummate pro, and this is why a lot of people got him number one on the pound for pound list. Body shot there from Evanition. Left hook. And Evanition will stay here, man. He'll stay in his face, so he'll keep he'll keep Crawford thinking. Uh oh, Ooh, that's a little shot well. Avenesian having some success. Pressure held there. Well, Crawford's going to have to beat Avenesian into submission. That's the only way you can win a fight against somebody like this. Yeah. Yeah. Avenesian now starting to switch stances back and forth, too. And again, I'll stress it again. No frills from Avanesi. You just need to stay in your face and try to see if that creates a panic or a break. But again, it's, it's just Crawford we're dealing with here. You're going to have to be a bit more tricky than just pressuring him. Always look at it when a, an amateur star turns pro. Their ability, you know, a lot of top amateur stars end up getting beat in the pros, and some uh, succeed. The biggest difference that I see from the ones that succeed to the ones that don't succeed, they all can fight, but it's the staying power. And guys like Avanesian expose whether you have any staying power in the ring. And what I mean by staying power is your ability to be in a tough fight for 10, 12 rounds, mentally draining you, and your ability to still execute a game plan underneath those circumstances. Avanesian is the kind of guy who exposes those fake prospects. You know what? He's a solid B plus. Yeah. Class fighter. And if yep. you ain't in the A class, yeah. you can't expose you. Left hand like scores for Avanesian. And he is putting up, I think, a better fight so far than almost anyone thought he would. Oh, again! Now the punch is with you. 
you see that? Now, the one thing Crawford can't do is underestimate Adonis' power because sometimes you'll see a shot coming thinking, oh, it ain't nothing normal. He's had some knockouts lately, right, Cap? And get clipped, you know what I mean? You can't underestimate this guy's punching power. Blue, how did you score those first two rounds? I got it uh, two rounds, nothing, Terrence Crawford. Uh, he always makes adjustments. Every time he take a big punch, he took a big punch in the first round. He made adjustments. He switched the southpaw, where he's more comfortable. He's controlling the distance with his jab and his counter punch ability. He's letting the fight come to him and breaking down David Adonisian. Two rounds, nothing, Terrence Crawford. Next moment there for Bud as he works off the ropes. Uh, Upstairs and downstairs. Hey, what, too, the interesting thing about both of these guys is both of these guys tend to get better as the rounds progress. Nice body shot by Crawford. You see the reaction that Anderson gave to it. Crawford still in that southpaw position. Abanesian not really choosing southpaw or orthodox. He's squared up. Crawford being a bit more active now. I don't know if it's because Abanesian's forcing him to be because he's trying to get more in his face or if it's Crawford is just starting to step on the gas a little bit and throw more shots. No, it's pressure. It's pressure now. I think Abanesian right now is making him fight a little harder than he's than he want to right now because he was in cruise control. But this is what David has to do if he's going to put himself in this fight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Again, he tests your staying power. We already know Crawford has staying power, so... Although this will make Crawford work harder than he wants to. He's making Crawford earn everything to the body. I know Crawford loves to go to the body, but the body is not there. He's sticking that jab sometime. But I think if he's going to have Ebenezer where he wants him at later on in this fight, he's going to have to go and invest in that body a little bit to slow this guy down. Nice spin move like from Crawford. That. Throws a right to the body. Ebenezer seemed to handle it well. He's about as tough as they come. of a lifetime like you said you know opportunities like this don't come by all the time in boxing so of course i felt like he would bring his best game tonight but the cream always rises to the top i'll tell you what for abanacian even putting in a, a good 12 rounds of work against the pound for pound king is a good look for him you know he's known to come up short at his levels but it's in the way that he comes up short Ooh. that it keeps him getting other opportunities against even the prospects that then he winds up beating So Abanesian, whether he wins or whether he loses, oh, the inside Abanesian it. lands a right, and now another oh, right from Abanesian. It's left hand by Abanesian as well. That's what I'm saying. Usually he gives a good account of himself and keep himself in the mix. You know, a lot of times when a, a fighter has some success when he's not expected to, it can be the biggest false sense of security yeah. in the fight. Now I think Crawford might. He let him get a little comfortable, but I know he's going to raise the stakes in a minute. Right hand from Crawford sneaks through. Forces his way inside, does have an easy, and then he tries to get that work in there. Yeah, he's Crawford. holding his own when these two exchange. Crawford is very, very awake, even at close range, though, you see. Very, very calm and collected. I don't, I don't think we want to see too many exchanges, because that gives a guy with a punching chance a chance. You know what I mean? It's important that Crawford do his thing and get on defense and not just be exchanging with this guy, but he's too big of a puncher. But if, you know, oh, nice right hand by Abanisi. But let's, let's not forget, Crawford's been off for 13 months, right? So this right. is kind of the right kind of guy he's got in front of him who's going to be a durable guy, make him get some rounds, make him nice think. Nice uppercut from Abanisi. Even catch him with a couple of shots, you know? It's it's part of the ring rust as well. And you also have Abanisi's pretty quality. So, you know, it's, it's, a kind of, it's a kind of get back in the ring, knock the rust off kind of fight that Crawford's going to if, if Crawford stay in this speed all night long, I think that it'll be competitive. But when the champ want to raise that level up, 
and take it up a notch. And then, here goes Crawford. Know. He's on the front foot now. This crowd is rallying behind him. Avenesian trying to stay in the pocket. He doesn't know where else to go. Yep. He lives in the pocket. That's it. You see the change of speed on the shots from Crawford. Look at it. This is the thing of beauty that I'm talking about with Paris Crawford. And now they're go. going toe to toe. Finds the opening, but also look at the change of speed in Crawford. Oh. Nice shots. Uh, Venetian at the like fight that. back. You know, we, a, a lot of times Crawford does a good job of anticipating when a guy's going to throw back in the midst of those inside combinations because that's why Crawford takes the power off those shots. So but. here we go, guys. Round five, and things are heating up. No doubt about it. Blue, how do you have it scored through four? I have it four rounds to nothing. Terrence Crawford, David Abanesia is making is having a good showing of himself though. It's a competitive fight. It's just the adjustments of Terrence Crawford, the skill set, the change in levels of Terrence Crawford. He controls the distance perfectly, and that's just making it hard for David Abanesia to get in. Four rounds to nothing, Terrence Crawford. Look at that. Crawford almost starts to do the drills on him. Those are like little bag drills you do with touches and goes and touches and shoot and hard shots and soft shots. These are like little things you do on the bag when you're drilling. Crawford does them to opponents. Still in the southpaw position is Crawford. Paulie says that's his most natural. And then he's now the southpaw as well. Although he switches every second. Left hand by Abenisi gets a smirk from Crawford, but he knows he's getting touched, Antonio. <laughs> yeah, but he's back in control in this round. I mean, that, he was in control the last round, but we had a lot of exchanges, but right now you don't see as many exchanges. He's back on that jab, controlling. It's the matter and the bull, so to speak. And it's hard to break the, the winning mentality of Avanesian, and that's what makes him such a, a tough, durable guy. You know, you're, Avanesian may be losing the fight, but he, in his mind, he, you haven't convinced him that he's not going to win tonight. So he keeps pushing it, looking to change his look. And thereby forces Crawford to work harder than maybe he might have anticipated. See, Avanesian cutting all the ring off here, see? Now he, Trap Crawford against the ropes. Now Crawford does a good job, but again, it keeps Crawford working because he got the ring cut off on him. Good body shot. Uppercut, a slick uppercut from Crawford into the body. The crowd is eating it up. Another left hand for Crawford. Is the quality starting to shine through? And that's a problem with Crawford. You chase him, you trap him, and then he gets the best of you in the exchange a lot of times. And Avenisi, and I'm daunted. He still keeps working. Good uppercut. Oh. Good left there from Avenisian. See, Avenisian gets through in there, but the, the shot selection is the difference. And Crawford's shot selection is very good. Avenisian more is more of a hustle guy on the inside, and he'll get, he'll get some shots through just on his hustle alone. But it's Crawford with the shot selection. Avenisian with a straight right hand and then a left as well. But here comes Crawford firing away. Good action round here nice. in Oakland. even double with the same hand. We're missing a clock. His gloves ripped. I saw it earlier and I didn't say oh. anything. Yeah, both of the gloves ripped. Oh, man. I thought it was the color when I saw it over here they in the last busted. round. I didn't want to say anything, but the glove bust on the other side. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, you can see the padding coming out. Yeah. I didn't want to be wrong, but I'm like, I look like the glove open. <laughs> Somali and, and, and Henry Cook look though, both gloves, Both gloves are, are, are busted open. Look at this. They letting it go. That is strange. With both the Crawford's gloves or both guys' gloves? That's Crawford's glove. Crawford's glove. I think they should go back to the dressing room, get the, the extra set so they yeah. can have it between the rounds the next next round. Oh, that's crazy. Well, you would think the, the cut and the gloves, if he were hit Avenisian just the right way, that could bust yeah. his, slice his head open. <laughs> Uppercut from Crawford. 
And look how Crawford just continuously throws punches to keep Abanesi in at bay. Yep. And again, shot selection, also change of speed on the shots, change of strength on the shots as well. So I mean, not every shot Crawford's throwing is hard, but some of those light shots are meant to draw something out of Abanesi so we can counter him as well. Oh, there's oh, a Abenesi. nice right hook from Abanesi. And that gets Crawford angry. Yes, not that angry. And you may not like him when he's angry. So you do start to wonder, you start to make comparisons with Spence and Crawford, right, when you see things like this. When Spence is at this distance, is, that is when he's at its most effective. It'll be really interesting how Crawford will handle that. It's, it's been a lot of close kept quarters fighting with him and Avanesi tonight. I knew it wouldn't be long before we start drawing the comparisons to the big proposed <laughs> fight that's in the win. <laughs> oh, nice double uppercuts. He's really making a home for those uppercuts, guys. The uppercut has become Crawford's favorite in this fight. There's another one, just misses. I like to see that right hand up a little bit by Bud. Man, I, I like to see that right hand. It's like it's hanging down what we call the bread basket. Oh, yeah. I think Abanese might have felt one of the body shots. Crawford, look at him just going upstairs and downstairs, picking him apart. Oh, nice stood him up with that uppercut as well. Into the body. He picking it up now. Yeah. And, and even Abanese's punch out put a starting to come down in this round a little bit. Crawford's got, taking it up the gears. Nice. Oh. The counter left uppercut followed up with a right hook. That was it. And yeah. just like that, Crawford says to Omaha, I'm still here. Wow, what a knockout, what a finish. Want to wish the best for Ebenezer, though he went down tremendously hard. Errol Spence Jr., are you watching? Oh. 